Okay, Don back. Well, the video I was trying to stick my my phone behind the computer didn't get anything, so uh, that was a waste. So here's my um, this is the AS Rock the back side of it, and this is my PS2 keyboard where it's plugged in. And um, you know, if the, if the manufacturers would go by color codes, that'd be great. That might have been. I think I kind of remember now. I, with my flashlight, I could see the green and the purple. And see, this one is part. Part looks blue on here, but it's purple. Uh, they both look blue. If you're looking at it with your eyes, it looks. I didn't know this phone was that different in colors, but uh, anyway, they look blue to blue, right? So, uh, and the to me, the plug itself looks a little more blue, and the plug, uh, the connector here, uh, is very purple. But anyway, that's where I had it, and the keyboard does work, so I'm gonna figure that's the right place. And I'm trying to, I don't know if I can show it, but instead of having uh, what would make sense, you know, like putting the labels under them or over them, it's off to the side, it's right there, and it is uh, mouse on top slash keyboard, forward slash keyboard. Uh, that's absolutely useless, AS Rock. Useless. Because how am I supposed to know which one's first? If you're reading left to right, like like we do in America, then you would say mouse on left, keyboard on right. But it's going up and down. It's not going across. But uh, well, I happen to know that AS Rock, uh, you know, is over in Asia somewhere, so maybe they're reading uh, right to left. And the other thing is, um, well, the other thing is, just why in the heck wouldn't you put your labels above or below each one, not in a, like a sentence format off to the side? It's not like you, I mean, you didn't have room up here on the top, I get that, but, well, you didn't really have a lot of room either way. You just... I know you got to save all the money you, you can on hardware manufacturing and all that, but draw some freaking arrows around there or something. A slash in between them means nothing. So now I'm pissed. Went ahead and drug the thing out. Once <laughs> sticking my head, I ended up sticking my head under the desk to try to make that video pu pushing, pushing the uh, putting that, trying to get this thing back behind there. Do you see this? It just I didn't see nothing. Saw the curtain. I saw the fan for a second. I was pretty close, and then my guesstimate was way off after that. I didn't ever see the back of the computer again. But, uh, see, I can reach back there and plug in my VGA and my USB. By I can just see it enough to, to hit it, you know, from around to the other side. But then these, I can, that's how I plugged them in, was from around to the other side. But knowing which one was which, that's the hard thing. I did not remember that this was... I remember having one like this, but with all these different machines, you know, I don't remember which one has what. But I don't know if you can read that, but that is so insanely ridiculous to label something that way. It's almost worse than not labeling it. I think it is, because it just makes it more confusing. So, the way I'm looking at it, it looks like reading left and right, mouse slash keyboard. Okay, so... But, and so let's say I was up on top of that thing, and, uh, and I've already looked at it with a magnifying glass. There's no other, there's some holes in there, in between them. Unplug that again. There's some holes in there, but there's, uh, that's what those two things in between there, there's not symbols or anything. I don't know if they video, but they just look like a blurred mess to me right now. I'm getting close to there. Might actually, I think you can kind of make out the mouse and the slash keyboard part. But there's no other way to tell what goes where. So all you can do is experiment. And like I said, I've seen a, a keyboard work in a mouse port before, but it, it'll it work pretty good until you hit certain keys, like maybe an F's key or something, or just a few keys that just don't work. Of course, these newer machines, this is actually in that range of age, but some of them only have one for it, and they'll work either way. But if you got two, then you really need to put it in the right one. 
and again the color codes are never followed uh, you can see I've seen them just the opposite many times I could probably if I wanted to pull them all out I could show you some other ones here that I have here that are just the opposite in colors so you can't go by a color code so at least it's not really as hard I don't didn't like dragging it out but <laughs> it was probably easier than what I did trying to stick that I got my head covered in dust and now I'm just ready to sneeze and cough at any second even after I went and washed my face and took a damp towel and damp to try to wipe it off my head shouldn't have ever stuck my head even nearer than underneath that desk I can't get all the dust out you can clean it you can clean the dust out of this room and then in a month it's back and I'll never feel up to doing it anyway but I never have figured out why there's so much dust coming in here there must be something in the air conditioning in the duct work must be some I've looked I've crawled up in there two or three times over the years and looked and I can't find any gaps or anywhere where the, the duct work could be pulling in dust but that's a whole nother thing that's my my problem but uh, anyway their problem is ridiculous labeling okay this dawn and that's my rant for this morning bye